Hi there. Oh, not again. <laughs> well, you're better looking than most of my male groupies. I'll give you that much. Oh. I'm not a groupie. I, I, not that you weren't very attractive, uh, because you are. Even even better in person, by the way. Those eyes, wow. I just got the cutest dress. <laughs> well, I hope you're caught up on Call Me Cat, because season three starts in just two days. Last season's finale left two of our favorite characters with some pretty major life changes. So to learn more and get a preview of what is ahead, we're joined by one of the show's stars right now, Cheyenne Jackson. Cheyenne, good morning. Good morning. Thanks Th for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. So, I mean, let's just get into it here. You know, at the end of the last season, your character Max got an offer to chase a dream of being a musician in Nashville. Can you give us any tidbits about how maybe that goes? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. When we left Max, he definitely, you know, we'd find we'd found out that he his finances were in disarray. He's been living in the basement. He, he's just kind of been bumming around, and he's in his early forties now. So. Um, to get these, to get this chance to go to Nashville and to be to be a songwriter, and he's getting a little bit of success, right? So now he comes back, and uh, there's a bit of a time jump, and you see that success has gone to his head a little bit. And um, I've been in this business a while, so I've seen <laughs> I've seen that happen with some <laughs> friends of mine. So it's been a really fun thing to play. I love this cast. I love this show. We are lucky enough to be in our third season, and we started at the beginning of the pandemic. So, um, you know, to, to to navigate through that a live a show with no live audience really just we've been able to bond and create these characters that people are really loving, and I'm just so happy to be back. Really, really fun stuff. You know, you actually said it. You said you've been in this business a while, and I don't know if people know this at home, but you started your acting career in regional theater in Seattle, right here. You said you, we were talking yes. during the break. You said you lived in Seattle for 11 years. You were born in Spokane. Do you ever come yes. back? Do you ever do you ever come back and visit? Not as much as I would like to, but I do. Yeah, my brother Jackson lives there uh, with his wife, and they live in Alki. I think still in Alki. Oh wow! Um, cool. And uh, yeah, and I got my equity card at the Village Theater in Issaquah, Washington, Aww. and then I worked at the Fifth Avenue Theater and lived on Queen Anne and Bothell and Everett. And it's just, it's my heart. The Northwest is is where I'm from. And even listening to that before I went on the air, listening to the local news and hearing the streets and hearing that, that it's 55 degrees, I'm like, oh, I miss it. <laughs> well, Cheyenne, anytime you want to come back and visit, we would love to have you. Thank you so much for talking with us. And remember, you can catch season three uh, Thursday night at 930 right here on Fox 13. Thank you so much.